Aloha, everyone, and uh, hello, everybody. Um, this video I'm making for my good friend Beverly and her family. Um, yesterday, uh, we had a funeral service for her youngest son, Tyler Castle. Um, Tyler was, uh, was killed in an automobile accident a few days um, earlier this week, and uh, it was definitely any time when something like that happens to anybody, um, it's quite a shock. And uh, even the Lord tells us that life is but a vapor. It is here one moment and gone the next. So for the time in between, I think it's very important that we not just, you know, do what's right and pleasing unto God, but we also need to be secure and effective, the knowledge of knowing who God is and uh, ultimately where we will spend eternity. And these things are all tied to the gospel. And uh, I was very grateful and thankful for Beverly to um asked me to help out with the service yesterday so uh we wanted it to make a celebration of tyler's life but also as a warning to all the young people that were there yesterday that life is very fleeting and no one is invincible no one is untouchable and with that being said i hope that uh, people that were there yesterday were touched by just the love that was present there from the beach community but most importantly uh, the love that um, I spoke about from 1 Corinthians 13, where the Apostle Paul wrote about what love looks like. Uh, I think as Christians, we sometimes lose sight of that in our own day-to-day -day, um, walk with the Lord, as well as our walk with our fellow uh, friends and human beings here on this side of heaven. So anyways, um, I'm going to play a couple of songs, and uh, one of which is Amazing Grace, and the second song is a song that was written about a year ago. But had no title and then when i was looking through some of the music to play at the service i came across a song and it talks about the ocean it talks about the ocean waves the surf uh, tyler was a surfer and uh and it really talks about the lord you know uh, it says in in the in the bible where uh god commands the wind and the waves man he, and so much more it's just tremendous to try to wrap one's mind around that but anyways, I hope that it will encourage anyone who sees this. And uh, again, just remember, like I told people yesterday, and what the Lord says is love hopes and bears all things. It's not arrogant or prideful. It endures all things, and love never fails. And no matter what we're going through, please keep that in mind, that no matter how low you may go, no matter where you think you're going or how bad things are going to be, keeping love cent central in your life, keeping God keeping Jesus Christ central in your life. He's the anchor man. That's what it's all about. He loved us so much, he put himself on a tree to pay for every wrong thing that we would do, past, present, and future. So with that kind of love that no one else has been able to give me in this lifetime, I'm thankful that he is my Lord and Savior and that he loves me and he gives me the ability to love others in spite of myself. So here we go. <clears throat> Yeah. 
See you in heaven, brother, and Beth and family. Thank you so much for just raising up a fine young man. And he is absent in his body, so he is present with the Lord. Let us take our joy and our comfort from that truth and the knowledge and grace and salvation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love you guys.